Meet the praying mantis. Watch as it kills this bird. That's right, an insect just killed a bird. This lean, mean killing machine can not only kill other insects, but also birds, mice, snakes, fish, and even fight with a cat. Yikes! But what makes mantis so fearless, aggressive, and bloodthirsty? Let's find out. What in our world? Usually the food chain looks quite logical and understandable. Cats eat mice, lizards eat insects. Well, no, that's not the case with the mantis. Watch as it takes down this lizard. The powerful front legs squeeze the head of the lizard, not letting it close its jaws. The mantis thinks it's enough to start eating the prey alive. Poor lizard. Anyone would be shocked if a potential lunch attacked them. But even after the prey escaped, it couldn't save itself. The mantis caught the lizard and twisted its neck. Absolute savage. The mantis are definitely the rulers of the insect world. Using their deadly front legs, which they usually keep clasped together, these monsters seem able to grab anyone. Most often, the mantis sets up an ambush, merging with the leaves or tree bark to attack unexpectedly with their front legs. They catch their prey at such a speed that their movement is difficult to track with a human eye and the very structure of the body of the mantis is such that it makes the insect an ideal killer. They have triangular heads located on a long neck or elongated chest. They have everything to comfortably reach for the prey. The mantis can rotate its head 180 degrees to scan the environment with two large complex eyes and three other simple ones located between them. Not a single movement around will go unnoticed. And what about those four legs covered with spikes? With them, the mantis keeps its prey in place and it doesn't care about the size of the prey. Moths, crickets, grasshoppers, flies and other insects usually end up on the menu of the mantis. However, mantis eat their own kind as well. A perfect example is the infamous mating behaviour of the adult female who sometimes eats her other half right after or even during mating. Uh, I think I'll pass. But it's one thing to attack insects that are not very resistant, it's quite another thing to attack snakes. Now we're not talking about anacondas, but mantis do attack small snakes. The mantis makes sharp attacks, trying to grab the snake. And if the snake doesn't move fast enough, it won't be able to escape the mantis grip. Now, of course, the snakes are trying to resist by wrapping themselves around the mantis. They must not have seen what happened to the lizard. These insects know exactly what to do to get to the head of the prey. And when they do, they start to eat. So what else is on the menu for the mantis? Mice. Even if these mice are the size of the mantis itself, Remember the lizard? For the mantis, it's not a huge dangerous opponent, but rather, mmm, so much food. The mantis is sometimes used as a natural remedy for pest control. So if you want to get rid of your rodent problem, just get a mantis. The mantis aren't the type of predators who chase their prey like lions on a savanna. Most often, they attack from an ambush. Some of the mantis are very camouflaged, while others just stay still until their prey appears or until it gets close enough. You know, the more I learn about the mantis, the more I think they are the universal hunter. Small, but universal. Here a mantis is catching a fish. The poor thing doesn't even try to resist. Insects shouldn't eat fish. Try to tell them that. And here's a mantis eating a frog. Please go eat somebody else. Nope, he's hungry. You know, these mantis remind me of honey badgers. But insects. Hornets for lunch? Sure, yummy. And remember the mantis from Kung Fu Panda? 
The scriptwriters chose such a hero intentionally. The Mantis were a source of inspiration for two different forms of Chinese martial arts. The style of the Northern Praying Mantis and the style of the Southern Praying Mantis. They were developed independently of each other and even looked different. However, they wouldn't refer to Mantis to create martial arts if these insects only knew how to attack. They also have a good understanding of defence. If a potential predator approaches, the mantis usually gets up and spreads its front legs and wings to seem bigger. Some species also have patterns on the exoskeleton in order to scare away even more enemies. If intimidating tactics don't work, the mantis may hit or pinch with its front legs. It can even bite. Although its jaws are small, they are sharp enough to hurt many enemies and it doesn't matter what kind of enemy is in front of it, a bird trying to get lunch, or a cat that's too curious. The mantis isn't afraid of anyone. Is there anyone else as vicious? Yes, there is. There's an underwater brother of the mantis, a mantis shrimp. This creature is larger and can reach 30 centimeters in length against 10 centimeters for an ordinary mantis, and it is just as fearless. The name Mantis was attributed to the Mantis Shrimp for the ability to instantly throw their front limbs, attacking the enemy or prey. It's been said that the Shrimp hits 50 times faster than its terrestrial brother and its formidable weapon is a second pair of limb jaws which are covered with thorns and they're sharp as razors. They pierce into the body until the prey stops resisting. Since the Mantis Shrimp can be larger than ordinary Mantis, sometimes it chooses a very large rival. For example, an octopus which took it for easy prey, an underwater mantis strikes again and again. The octopus doesn't want anything and is trying to get away really fast. You know, I don't think anyone would judge him for that, except maybe the mantis shrimp. We can only hope that the octopus won't meet another mantis shrimp on a stakeout on its way because then it will be too late to run. Perhaps the only marine inhabitant that can compete with the mantis shrimp in strange coolness is a pistol shrimp. They look quite unusual and they also have claws of different sizes which can reach half the length of a not very large body but it's in the larger claw where all the superpower of the snapping shrimp hides. When it feels that a prey is nearby it opens the top of its large claw allowing water to penetrate into a small chamber. Then at the right moment it pushes the water out of the chamber with pressure. This happens so fast that bubbles are formed and not bubbles that anyone can create by blowing into the water. These bubbles accelerate at almost 100 kilometers an hour just fast enough to stun or kill kill the prey. When the bubbles burst, they make a snap sound. That's how the shrimp get their name, because the bubbles burst loudly. I mean really loudly. The volume of the snaps can go up to 210 decibels. That's more than a gunshot, which is 140 to 175 decibels. Both the mantis and their underwater relative, of course, are striking, but I wouldn't be surprised if I go through to find some even cooler ones. Do you want to know what that could be? Well subscribe to this channel or you'll miss everything. And of course, likes and comments will make us very very happy. We'll see you later guys.